Uh, the final game of week six between the Mustangs and the Goblins. Right here was the opening throw off. The Mustangs, if they beat the one and four Goblins, they will clinch the first seed in the American division. But the Goblins were looking to play spoiler here. And here was the first play of the game. Robert Scalanti, in what could be his final game in his career, throws a first play of the game. Pick six to Zach Sweet. And that's what the Goblins needed. Some momentum as being a one and four team. Right now sitting currently with the worst, worst record in the SFL. But right here going for one. Joe Smith's going to find his go-to guy, Zach Sweet, who's been a He's been one of their best players all year with his ninth <laughs> touchdown of the season. But Scalanti, you know, he's going to answer right back. And he throws a dime to Edwin Wamet, who makes some great moves on Joe Smith. And he gets it to the end zone here. Just craziness. And that's what he does. So then that made it seven to six goblins. Right here, you know, Adam Mumet is going to sell, celebrate to the camera. So they're going to go for one here. <laughs> Robert Scalanti here on the one-point conversion. He's looking around, and he takes this one in for his first conversion of the season for the Mustangs. He was the conversion leader last year. But let me tell you, there's going to be some crazy stats in this game. Like Joe Smith right here, once again, fighting... Zach Sweet for a big first down gain for the Goblins. <laughs> and then once again, Joe Smith is cooking. He throws another touchdown to Zach Sweet for the Goblins. And then the Goblins go up a quick 13 to seven on the Mustangs. However, they did not get the one point conversion. But then Robert Scalanti, he throws a short pass to Edward Wimette who's making moves around Goblins defenders for a short little nice game there. And then Robert Scalanti, you know what he does, fakes the handoff and he uses his legs right here to pick up the first down. He's got some killer speed, we all know that. And if this is potentially his last game, a regular season game, he wants to come out here with a W, right? So right here, Edward Wimette thinks of a smart play to toss it back to Robert Scalanti. They ended up reviewing this and after review of the play, the run on the field stands. It stood for a touchdown. That was Robert Scalanti's first touchdown of the season. However, right here, you know, Scalanti on the one-point conversion, he's going to use his legs and get in for his second conversion of the day. So Robert Scalanti already having a big day, big day besides that uh, one interception. Uh, so right here, Joe Smith is going to take off and run, and he's going to, he gets the first down for the Goblins. And again, Joe Smith right here was just standing in the pocket, and he finds a wide open Zach Sweet, who has three touchdowns on the day for the Goblins early on. He is cooking the Mustangs, and he needs four touchdowns to, do, to tie the league uh, leader Joey Flag and touchdowns on the season. And right here he gets another conversion. His second conversion. Now the two point conversion to make the score 21 to 14 Goblins. And right here Robert Scalanti in the Mustang trying to cook something up. Antonio Petraca reaches the ball across to get the first down for the Mustangs. Set up a new set of downs for them. And then Robert Scalanti here. Ball is snapped and then he just throws it up to Wamet. What a dime there joe smith had pretty good coverage but that was just a really good throw by scalanti and edward Wilmette gets in for his second touchdown of the game after a slow start to the season he's really come along at the end of the season he has eight touchdowns now he's had a good past three weeks scoring at least two touchdowns in each of those three games and then right here scalanti just runs in the one point conversion to tie that game up or tie this game up at 21. But you know the Mustangs, they need the they need to win this game in order to clinch first seed in the division. 
And then right here, Joe Smith just making moves. Gets tagged just short of the first down here. But then he throws a nice little pass to Avon Nisovsky. And he just reverses his field. He gets the first down. And he ends up running out of bounds for the Goblins. Who just keep just taking it to the Mustangs defense. Speaking of taking it to the Mustangs defense. How about some more Zach Sweet action? Look at this. Four touchdowns in a single half. And he ties the whole, he ties the league in touchdowns in one half. That is amazing. And right here, Joe Smith tries to throw a, a backwards, uh, or a behind the back pass to Zach Sweet for the conversion. He ends up getting intercepted, but you know, that would have been a cool highlight. And why not when you're winning 27 to 21? But right here, Robert Scalanti misjudges. Carlos Leon, he throws an interception to Zach Sweet, who has four touchdowns, two interceptions, and two conversions all in one half. That's like a season's worth of stats in one half. Like a decent season's worth of stats in one half. Well, make it five touchdowns in one half for Zach Sweet. Just, this is crazy. Zach Sweet legacy game here for the Goblins. 33 to 21 Goblins. Are taking it to the Mustangs right now in the first half, but Carlos Leon here gets out of bounds, <clears throat> and then this sets up with one second left, a Carlos Leon touchdown for the Mustangs, and he flexes on the Goblins' defense, making the score 33 to 27. They end up going for one here, <laughs> and Robert Scalanti ends up. Once again, just using his legs, pump fakes, takes it to the house. 33 to 28 at half. Robert Scalanti has four conversions in this one game. And Zach Sweet, five touchdowns in this one game. And he's going for the first player to score six touchdowns in a game since 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Jake D'Amico did that a couple times. Different times back then in the SFL. So right here, Joe Smith gets a nice little run there to start up for the Goblins. Mustangs are tr desperately needing a stop. Here, Joe Smith throws a nice little pass to Ivan Nasovsky, who waves to the camera and then gets out of bounds for the Goblins. And right here, pretty sure this is the fourth down play. Smith looking and he finds once again Zach Sweet for his sixth touchdown of the game. And yep, he ties that record that hasn't, hasn't been broken since 2017. Chris Curry actually did that in the preseason of last year, but it's the preseason, so the stats really don't matter. But um, yeah, so there's a big play there for Edwin Wamet. And then Robert Scalante here pump fakes. And he takes it in for his second touchdown of the season. And that made the score. Oh my goodness, I'm losing count out here. 39 to 34 <laughs> Goblins. They ended up going for one. And Robert Scalanti ended up doing it again. Taking it in for his fifth conversion of the game. Two touchdowns, five conversions, and three passing touchdowns. And two interceptions thrown, of course. But, you know, still a very, very crazy good stat line for what could be one of his, la his last games of the season. Here, Joe Smith is just using his legs, running all over the Mustangs defense. And right, look at him go, making some moves. But then Mustangs desperately still needing a stop. And then... The Goblins get another first down catch out of Ivan Nasovsky, who's been their go-to guy to pick up these first downs on these quick passes here in this game. And then right here, Smith was standing in the pocket, nice and still, scrambling around, trying to look for someone to get open. And then he throws a strike over the middle to Zach Sweet. And right here is a fourth down play. The Mustangs needing a stop, but no. Zach Sweet becomes the first player 
since Jake D'Amico in 20, since 2017 to score seven touchdowns in a single game. Zach Sweet legacy game right here, but Robert Scalanti adding an interception to his stat line today on the conversion. But the Goblins are still up. 45 to 35 <laughs> on the Mustangs here. And right here, Edward Matt spinning away as time is one winding down in the game. And he ends up scoring his third <coughs> Gosh, I almost died. But he ends up scoring his third touchdown of the game to make the score 45 to 41. And how about Robert Scalanti? Taking this one in for his sixth conversion of the game. I don't know. No, I can't go back and see when was the last time someone checked, scored six conversions in the game. But right here is the onside play. The Mustangs desperately need to convert here with about like a minute and something left. And they did not. So they had to get a stop, a big defensive stop here on the Goblins. And right here, Joe Smith runs, tries to run a little trickery trying to catch the Mustang sleeping however Ivan Nasovsky gets tagged then right here is a second down play <laughs> Joe Smith ends up throwing this one away did not get sacked was the call it was an in incomplete pass and then right here was the third down play and then he ends up getting sacked by Edwin Wilmette after review after review of the play the runner feels overturned he was sacked so with 30 seconds left, the Mustangs, a big fourth down stop they need in order to clinch and win the division. And they don't get it. Ivan Nasoski finds a hole in the defense and he ruins, he crushes the Mustangs' hopes and dreams of being the first seed in the American division. And he's celebrating all over them. It was crazy. Making the score 51 to 42 with 30 seconds left. And he's going for one. Zach Sweet gets his third conversion of the game with a crazy stat line. He's had record-breaking stat line. This was just a crazy game all in all. But right here, 52 to 42. Edwin Wilmet gets a nice little gain here for the Mustangs. And then that'll bring up one final play as the Cobras have clinched the American division with a two in four record. But right here was actually not an interception. It was called an incomplete pass. But the Mustangs, or the Goblins, I should say, ended up winning this game 52 to 42. And the Mustangs ended up losing to the Goblins 52 to 42. And ended up the Cobras clinching the American division. Joe Smith had something to say to the camera though. We're on a very steady pace to becoming a dynasty. First season, we won zero wins. This season, I mean, last season we got one. This season we got two. It's gonna build up and we're gonna be, we're gonna be unstoppable. You watch, playoffs were coming. You heard them here, folks. The playoffs, watch out for the Goblins. Who knows, maybe could they upset the Honey Badgers, the four and two Honey Badgers. It's the Goblins gaining some momentum going into um the playoffs after that big win against the mustangs so uh here's a look at the standings in the american division every single team is two and four here so the cobras ended up winning this division they have the most points scored and they beat the astros head to head so that means the astros will get second place and the mustangs will get third place as both of them split but the astros had that have a two-point advantage on the Mustangs. So that should be a very interesting playoff game, and I'm excited for that. And then the National Division, the Jaguars had a great season. They're 6-0. They finished the season 6-0. First team to do it since the 2018 Jaguars to go 6-0. First team to be undefeated since the 2021 Cobras, who went 5-0. But then the Honey Badgers, after being the champions, uh, have a four and two season, a very solid season, even though losing a lot of their players, they still had a very solid record. And the Goblins, they're improving. They're in, really improving. They're a two and four team this year with a lot of momentum going in to the playoffs. And lastly, we talked about the Cobras. They, with the Mustangs loss here, they 
have clinched the American division. So I'm excited for the playoffs and we will see you in the next one.